Hey everybody, welcome back. Falcon, Big Parma, episode number two. Hopefully you guys check that episode number one, because it's kind of a game that requires some attention, especially when I figure out exactly what's happening over here. It's a game that requires a lot of intricate details, so definitely check out episode one if you haven't, so you can kind of understand what we're doing here in episode number two. But if you watch episode number one, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let's get going and actually do some more medications here. So, right now, we have acquired a second plot of land over here, which has our... What is this one? This is the Diabetes Medicine, the Dick Diabeto Buddy. God, these names are so great. So Dick Diabeto Buddy's coming over here. It's making us a profit of 61, which is pretty good because no other competitor has actually risen anything over there right now. We have some research complete, which is the Ionizer, which is great because we need that in order to kind of get into the level 2 treatments. Since we have the Freed Scientist now, I could actually let him accumulate some points so we can start upgrading our equipment. But I'm going to actually get him to do the Agglomerator because the Agglomerator is going to be really good because it's going to be plus 3 for concentration as opposed to the plus 1 for Evaporator. Now, you're probably wondering, well, once you get the plus 3 ones, is it even worth your time to invest in the plus 1 ones? Yes and no, because it all depends on how much money it costs you to actually send an ingredient through that line. For instance, right now, if we take a look over here. This is a process cost of $10 to the dissolver. Let me pause this momentarily so you can kind of take a look at this. The processor right now for the dissolver is $10. So, that's only um, decreased concentration by 1. If I hit this with an ionizer, it would be 3. However, the ionizer has a process cost of 35. So you are spending a little bit more money to kind of um, do a job faster and take up less space. But again, you're using more money for the process cost. So you got to keep that in mind. However, you could actually mediate that if you go to research and if you get some research points, you could actually pump them in here. And as you can see, the ionizer can be dropped down to 32 with an upgrade and so forth and so forth. So again, it's basically what do you think is going to work out for you and also taking advantage of your plot of land over here too. Speaking of plot of land, if we want to get into some other medication, we need to actually get another plot of land over here or upgrade a current medication as well. And that's not a bad idea as well because we do have the ionizer, meaning, let's actually put this in real time, meaning that... With the diabetes pill, if we hit the diabetes pill with the ionizer at 10 to 12, it could give us the cures hyperthyroidism, which is 265, 93 demand. Female contraceptive is 248, 94 demand. So right now what we want to do is what has a higher want and the removes wart has a higher you know need in the market than the diabetes one for now. So if we went over to the production line really quickly, let's see how much money is it um is the di diabetes pill bringing in 61. And the warts is bringing 81. So yeah, I don't think we want to mess with the warts just yet. What we could do is actually open up another land and make another medicine or tear this one down in a sense and use this ingredient to go to the next level of cures, which would be the hyperthyroidism. So it's kind of up to us to figure that out. Do you want to do that one or not? Well, I'm going to say we're at 29,000 right now. I'm going to say no. I'm going to, if anything, leave this running because at 61 profit is still not too bad, to be honest. So I'm going to actually go ahead and buy more land, which is going to be 4,500. A little bit more costly. We're at 25,000 right now. Again, it's going to hurt early on. You're never going to have too much money in this game unless once you get really late game, you'll start making more money. But early on, it's a struggle. So for this one, what we want to do is actually increase the... You, which one? You, right? You need to go up to 10 to 12 and then hit with the ionizer for the hyperthyroidism. So, we're going to import you through right here. And we want to make the hyperthyroidism right now. So, for this one, we need 10 to 12. And you start off at 6. So, this is going to be a little bit more costly for us. If anything, I should have probably waited. I could still wait. I don't have to necessarily commit to this one right now. But I could just wait till the research is done in the agglomerator. Which is going to take three months, unfortunately. That's a long time. But what this will do is that the agglomerator actually increases the concentration by three. As opposed to by one. So I would have to use less agglomerators and use less space over here to make that one happen. But three months is a long time. Our competitors are still over there doing their thing as well. We want to hit the market before they do. So we're going to definitely go with this one right now. And let's, I'm going to leave this pause. When I set up my lines, I usually pause it so um, time isn't running and I get an idea what's happening. But once it's set up, we will put this back in real time. So let's start this off here really quickly. We want to get Evaporator. Increase its concentration by one. So that's definitely a good start. Um, I'm going to say we probably go through... We want to use up as little space as possible. And check this out. There's no more land to buy over here to connect to that. So we definitely want to make use of this whole land right here before we just build straight up to this, you know? 
So we want to use up as little space as possible and also be really um, influential with what we're using. So let's go with Evaporator down this way. And what this will do is it'll actually drop the pill through here. It's going to pop it up through here. And then I could just use either another Evaporator, which is actually ideal, or also a line or a belt line, I should say. But I'm going to do one, two, and three. We're looking four at six. We're looking at ten, right? So we need four Evaporators before we hit it with the Ionizer. So we're going to do uh, one, two... Three, and for the fourth one, I guess we'll probably do it this way. And that's going to get us up to the 10 that we need, and then we need to hit it with the ionizer. And then, once you hit it with the ionizer, don't think, you're okay, cool, you're done, send it to the printout. No, 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 I'll show you exactly what happens with that soon. So right now we have the 10 that we need for sure, and now we need the ionizer as well. We're spending money with each single of these um, machines that we're using, by the way, so again, you got to keep that in mind. Um... Let's just go ahead and bring it down through here so we use up more of this um, space that we're just leaving behind. So we'll do it like down to here. And this is going to actually require a belt connection. Alright, so check this out. We'll put this in real time now. And I'll let you... Oh, wait, wait. We need a belt over here. Alright, so belt over here. This is already connected, so we're fine. Right now we're going to see exactly what happens with this medicine. I don't want to spoil it for you just yet, but I'll show you right now. Now, meanwhile... Oh, we have one of our researcher is done, right? Our explorer is done. They, let's see, let's pause this here momentarily. Go to the ingredients here really quickly. They have now uncovered the shimmering Zalik, or is it Alec? It's the X silent. I never know about the X. The only X that I'm fully aware of is DMX, but that's besides the point. We have the Zalik acid gas, which the the premise of this pill or ingredient is to soothe rashing. So that's good. However, it actually does have from sleepiness so you could actually cure a rash but it's gonna make you a little bit sleepy and it also has a positive not a positive but as a possible situation to actually give you the inflamed skin negative trait which is also bad so if we send this pill out there with both of these side effects bad pill really bad pill you could do it early on before the other competitors get into the market and then you could kind of um rehash your recipe to have less um things by the way you could also remove negative requirements too um, is for instance the sleepiness one. If this was to go up to 14 to 19 and then be hit with the ionizer, you could completely get rid of the sleepiness one. So you could definitely fine tune the ingredient to not have sleepiness. But that requires a lot of money, which we really don't have money for right now. So you don't want to do that early on. Believe me, don't be so aggressive. Be patient and you'll be fine. Right now we're only making $14 a day, by the way, so that's not too good. My explorer, I'm not going to hire another one because we're kind of low on money. So for now, you kind of um, research things for me. Give me some points so we can lower the cost of some of these ingredients. Um, we're not going to do anything with this just yet, so let's get out of here. But at least it's available to us. Once we get some more money, we could probably buy some more land and make that happen somewhere over here. Let's put this back in real time. Alrighty, so our ingredients are going through here right now. Or at least they should be. You know, I have a hard enough time with this game on occasion when I'm over here playing off camera. Once I'm actually recording and talking, half of my brain is over here, you know, thinking about explaining things to you, and the other half is over here trying to make things happen, so that's going to be an issue right there. So I, I think that should fix it. However, this is still hitting the wall, which is no good. So instead of breaking this down, let's move it forward. And I guess what we could do then is if that's going to happen, we might as well just um, forego that area. Let's sell off this right here. And we'll get a belt happening through this side instead. I just sold that one by mistake. Double clicking. Always a big problem. Alright, let's go in real time. There you go, now it's moving. So that was over here stuck because there was no belt. So, check this out really soon. Let's pause this momentarily to show you what I'm talking about here. So this right here now is at 10 concentration. It no longer treats diabetes. It's kind of close to induces nightmares. But it's at 10. If we come over here and we look at diabetes, there's a check mark next to the concentration, meaning we have met the pre-requirement of the hyperthyroidism medicine. Now, you need to upgrade it with the ionizer, which is the one that's coming up next. So, put this in real time. We will keep an eye on the ionizer because there is where something's going to happen right now. Boom, you saw that? Pause this again. Diabetes is gone. We now have hyperthyroidism in its place. But, it's not active. Right now we're at concentration of 7. If we want to get the hyperthyroidism, we have to get it to 11, meaning we have to upgrade this bad boy by 4. And if we hit it by 4, it'll get thyroidism, and it won't induce nightmares, so we'll have a pretty good medicine that only actually cures hyperthyroidism with no negative effect. So that's good. So we need 4, however. That's going to cost us some money. Is my research done on the agglomerator is my real question? No, we still need 2 more months. Not really worth the time and waiting, so I'm going to have to definitely throw down the evaporators for now. So, we need 4. 
before we put it into a pill form itself. So we're going to be doing, um, you can just straight up plop you out right here, right? So we can do one, we will do, mm, don't want to get too close into that land because we might have to expend that one later. Uh, two, three, and four. I think that would work out pretty good. I could have used more of this land as a matter of fact. And that's still not beyond the realm of possibility. We could definitely still move these. Let's see. Let's move you down to here. I really want to be min maxing with this, but on occasion I fail with min maxing, so you'll forgive me here. What we could do is actually bring you down this way. It's going to be a longer line, but it could still definitely happen. So we could bring you down, like, say, down through here. Longer line for sure, but it's possible. And then we could bring you. Excuse me, my friend. You need to come along. I would say. No, it's going to hit the wall. Down through there is fine. And then we still need one more. And then you could just probably come down. Hmm. Let's see. Up. Oh, nope, that's going to be covering the outlet. We don't want that happening either. So I guess it would work out this way. And we could put up our pill printers on the side. Yeah. So I think this would work out. So that's going to hit up, up to four. We'll trigger the effect. And then the pill printers could be just placed over here, I would imagine. So let's see about pill printers down. You might have to put them down here. We just place them down here too. This way and this way. We're wasting a lot of money doing this, but I hope it's going to be worth it. So you connect to that. You connect to that. And you also connect to that. You guys connect together, and then my outlet's right there. Okay, this should work. Let's put this in real time and see how this kind of goes by. So Ionizer is going to give us the hyperthyroidism. It's right here now. So we have to hit this guy with four more. It's going to be going through this line, which is unfortunate. It's a bit longer than I really wanted to. There's probably a better way to actually do this right now. It doesn't require that much space. I think the one that I had set up before actually would be more convenient in terms of uh, making it faster. But the problem is that we're also using up a lot of land over here and leaving this completely empty. And I want to definitely maximize my plot of lands. By the way, there's a report here. Excalibur has released the diabetes medicine to actually compete with ours, which is actually pretty bad. We, our cure ratings, by the way, are B and B. So our medicines are doing really good in the market. We have actually cured 114 warts and 27 headaches induced. And then we have um, reduced 62 blood level, blood level. So that's good. This guy is doing C plus and C, and then Barclay is at C plus. So Barclay is actually falling a bit behind. We'll see. Maybe he's actually souping up over here to actually do a level two medicine, which is what we're doing right now with this um, hyperthyroidism. Alrighty, so, let's see what we have here. New product. Dick Hyperthyroidism Decreaser. Remove the middle word and suddenly you have a dick decreaser. I'm not sure if people are going to be going to buy that in the market, but... <laughs> especially the guys, but there you go. We will be naming that because I am not, you know, um, creative enough to come up with funny names myself. Actually, I am, but why even waste time doing that? I'm actually having enough trouble over here trying to set up these lines without messing it up. So this is a profit of 108. Really, really good. The processing cost is 135 because as you can see, this line is more complicated, so it will cost us more. But we're still bringing in 100, $108 of profit, which is good. Come over here, our Dick Diabetes is at 66. I believe it's gone down a bit because now we have a competitor in the market. And then how's the wart doing? 81. The wart is doing fine still, so we'll leave that one go. And we'll leave this go. And we're fine for now. 81, one, 108. So now we're here, here it comes, we're going to sum the profit, which is good. I was worried about that there for a second, but now we're making some more money, which is good. Now let's go to ingredients. So let's see if you have, no, you haven't unlocked anything, huh? I'm going to wait till you hit one point. I'll use that point on an item, and then I'll probably hire one more person and send people out to start investigating the tumble woad. If we come over to research, though, how is the agglomerator happening? One more month? Great. Good to see. Once that happens, we might actually hire another scientist as well and actually accumulate some research points so we could actually decrease the cost of our equipment. Or we could actually send them over to Basic Auxiliary to open up Analyzer, Multi-Mixer, and Shaker, which are actually really needed for a lot of the level 2, 3, 4, etc. tier items or medications. But look at this, we're actually making 166 profit right now a day, which is the highest we've done so far. So I'm actually happy about that, I'm not going to complain. Let's go into the company tab really quickly and take a look at what's happening here. Our hyper thyroidism decreaser is only at C, meaning we're probably not meeting the optimal um, number for the max strength. So that's only at C. There's no negative effect, which is fine, but we're not meeting the optimal number of the max strength for that. So, I mean, we'll have to keep that in mind. But for now, it's making money, so I'm not going to mess with that. And again, these guys are kind of slowing it down over here a little bit. So that's fine. Let's go to research here really quickly. And let's see. 
You're almost done. Nine more days. Perfect. That should be coming up pretty soon. And if we go to ingredients, we have one point. Perfect. Let's pause this up here really quickly. What do we want to decrease the cost of right now? I would say what we could do is um, you would actually help out a lot with the hyperthyroidism because you're at 44. So I could reduce you down by 10%, which will bring you down to 40 from 44, which is actually pretty good. So we'll use that point on that one. We have the Explorer. I'm going to hire one more, even though I feel it's still not the right time, but I'll do it. So we have two people available. Let's send them out to research the Tumblewode, which is pretty good because it's for psychological medicine and psychological issues. As you can imagine, has a big um, ask for in the market. Let's put this in real time. Our research should be coming up as well pretty soon. Now, what I want to take a look at here, meanwhile, is to see how our medication is doing in the field compared to the other competitors right now. Is our research really not done? Three days? Oh, come on. So we're still making money, which is good. Let's take a look at what's happening here in the field. So we have three medications, or is it four? Oh, here's our research. One second. So research is done. We got the agglomerator. Perfect. You could have been used earlier, but, you know, unfortunately, you came through now. That's fine. Again, we could hire another one. I'm going to do that. I hire two guys, and for now, I want you guys to just research some upgrades before we actually come over here and start unlocking this. So get me some points. I'm going to reduce the cost of these med uh, machines, and we'll be going forward. So let's put this in real time. Let's go over to the cures. I want to take a look at something that's happening over here and kind of um, show you the finer details of the game here. We have a medicine for diabetes, if I'm correct. If we come over here, it'll tell you some information. 55 is the total supply this month. We supplied 30 when I was 56, and the competitors supplied 26. So they're actually doing pretty good for themselves, too. They're kind of right on our ass. As a matter of fact, they're increasing as we just stay at a stable 30. So I'm not too happy about it, but there you go. 58. Oh, man, they're about to push us out. The saturation is 36 as well. Once this gets too high, it means it's going to start making everything go down in price, and also the ingredients will start going up in price, too. So you got to keep that in mind. We're about to get pushed out of the diabetes medicine here. Yeah, we got met 30 and 30. Not happy about it. Now, this right here will tell you how many people have been cured over time. So far, nobody's been cured of diabetes, which is, you know, morbid to say, but good. It's good for us because, you know, it keeps people on the pill. <laughs> so, again, you're a pharmaceutical company trying to make money, so don't, you know, lynch me for saying diabetes is good. It's not good. But in the premise of the game, it's fine that they haven't been healed. Now, we also have hyperthyroidism. We healed one person. That makes me... Oh, wait a minute. They, they went back. Well, actually, no, we cured a person last month. This month, we haven't cured anybody. So our medicine's doing a little bit too good. It's curing people. Not exactly too happy about it, but we've supplied 30 people with it so far, so that's fine. We also have one for the warts. Where is the warts one? Up here. And the warts, um, Barclay is actually just completely running train on everybody else. They're doing really good. Nobody's been healed completely. The saturation's at 50, though. So that one's getting up there a little bit. 37 for diabetes and then 52 for hyperthyroidism. I'm the only one on the market, so I'm the one who's actually bringing this up high a lot myself. So that's all on me right there. Okay. So let's take a look at ingredients here. You guys are over here researching that, which is great. What about research? We have one point now. Perfect. Let's drop this point on. We've been using ionizers a lot right now, especially for our upgrades. But we've also been using evaporators. So let's actually use this on the evaporator for now. Because we have a lot of these to increase the um, concentration for a lot of our lines here. So that'll actually help us out with our processing costs over time. So that's looking pretty good. We're at 14,000. I think it's about time we start investing on some more land. Um, this over here would actually open up three... Um, slots, which is actually pretty good. With three slots, you could actually start mixing lines to go through pill printers with three different lines and then making two medicines. It's a bit more complicated to do. Uh, I've done it a few times, but I don't really trust myself too much to do it. But for now, I will open this up because we will definitely need another medication happening right here. Meanwhile, so we're at 9,000. We're still making a lot of money, which is good. Let's come over to the ingredients. The only thing we haven't messed around with so far is the acidic gas. So we could start getting a, a foot in the market in terms of um, rash medicine. And if we want to get the acne, we need to start using catalyst. The catalyst is something we'll talk about when we come to it, but that's going to require two medicines being mixed, sometimes more than likely, and using the multi-mixer, which we haven't unlocked yet. So that's something that's a bit more complicated for sure, but we'll get to it at some point. Um, Barclay has also released a diabetes medication, so now there's three companies um, competing with diabetes and warts, if I had to say. The only thing that I have a, uh, an up on them is the fact that we have hyperthyroidism, and nobody's actually touched that market just yet, but soon enough they probably will. So what I want to do is actually start doing something with the shimmering zalic acid gas, blah, 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 whatever. But we will do that next episode because I believe we're out of time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. If you have any tips, again, leave them down below. 
always happy to learn more about the game because you know i'm not exactly a pro at it so i could definitely use some information down the line but again hope you guys enjoyed it for one that's the most important thing leave a thumbs up i will catch you next time